Hey, welcome back to the e-learning video series on BSF Biowaste Processing. This module in the BSF Rearing chapter will focus on the fly stage. By the end of this module, you'll be able to describe the process parameters of this stage, apply harvesting the flies from the dark cage, measure the fly density in the loft cages, execute preparation of the attractive material and setup of the loft cage, and you will be able to recognize the need for certain data and apply the procedures for the data collection. As mentioned in this module, we will be looking at the fly stage of the black soldier fly. Mating and oviposition or egg laying are the two most important processes in this stage. In order to ensure that the flies can perform well, the flies will be harvested into a loft cage from a dark cage. The cage system is used because the flies that will be attracted by the light when flying out of the dark cage, fly out of the loft cage, um, are all of the same age. Flies who have just emerged from their pupa will not be able to fly yet and therefore are also not flying out and will be then harvested the next day. In the fly stage, the, the pupae have emerged as flies and the flies are harvested in the loft cage. Normally, around 80% of the pre-pupae eventually emerge into flies through the process of pupation that happens into the dark, in the dark cage. We have counted the amount of pre-pupae that transforms the pupae and pupae that are, have emerged as flies, but to keep collecting data on the performance indicator simple um, and not to, take, to make it too time intensive, we count directly the emergence rate of flies from pre-pupae, which is around the 80% that I just mentioned. The emerged flies then stay for four days in the loft cage, where they will mate and lay eggs. The maximum density of the flies in this cage are about 80, centi 80, centi 80 cubic centimeters per fly, and the expected mass range of the flies that we harvest from the dark cage is around 80 to, to 90 milligrams per fly. For the operation, the following materials are required. First of all, a loft cage frame with light to, be, to, to use to hang up the loft cage in and to attract the flies uh, from the dark cage. The loft cage is hung up uh, using uh, a hanger and is connected to the dark cage with uh, the clips. The loft cage itself is 150 centimeters high and 75 by 75 centimeters uh, wide and, and deep. And, it's, and we can move it around hanging on the cage hanger using the stick for, the, for hanging and moving the loft cage. We can weigh the cage before, in between, and after harvesting flies from the dark cage using a bulk balance with a max of 35 kilograms and an accuracy of 0.5 grams. And the loft cage will be hung up on a loft cage table, which can fit about three loft cages and has a, has a, has a length of 2.4 meters, a height of 2.8 meters, and a depth of eight, or a width of 80 centimeters. The flies are then removed from the, from, some flies are removed from the dark cage for sampling, and they are placed in a flask, and, are, and ethyl acetate is then added, a few drops only, to measure, to, to paralyze the flies. They are then weighed on the precision balance, with a maximum of 2 kilograms and accuracy of 0.01 grams. And the rest of the flies remain in the loft cage, which is then further set up by adding an attractant material in an attractant box, adding egg media, adding a shade box, and topping off the shade box with a water container. So the operation starts by hanging a clean loft cage into its hangers using the loops and measuring the weight of the loft cage with the hanger on the balance. Attach the cage onto the mobile frame and move the frame opposite of the first dark cage. Connect the two tunnels of the dark cage using four binder clips and turn on the attractant light to arouse the flies and make them move from the dark cage into the loft cage. After 30 minutes, disconnect and close the tunnels. Measure the weight of the loft cage with the hanger again and attach the hanger back onto the mobile frame and repeat the same process of connecting, disconnecting, and weighing after 30 minutes until the loft cage is full, meaning flies are covering most of the sides but are not piling up on the bottom. Disconnect the loft cage from the last dark cage that you filled the, the flies from, close the tunnels with the rope, and finally and measure the weight for the final time of the loft cage and the hanger. Now move the loft cage with the hanger to the loft cage table using the long stick. Prepare the attracting container by filling an empty attracting container with 100 grams of dead flies. 
200 grams of residue from the nursery container, 200 grams of residue from the older tracking container, and one liter of water. Mix thoroughly. Now you prepare 10 clean, 10 clean eggies. You take clean wooden sheets and separate them between the sheets with push pins and the sheet without push pins. Build up the egg media alternating between a sheet with and without push pins until there are five sheets that are stacked. Make sure to add two rubber bands on both ends of the bundle to keep them together. And prepare 10 of these bundles for each loft cage. Follow, be followed by preparing the water container. You fill a clean container with tap water until it's almost full. Take the lid and a clean cotton cloth and push the cloth on both sides through the incision slits made into the lid. The towel should, should lie flat on top of the lid while the ends pass through the incision slits and are immersed in the water in the container. Make sure to sprinkle the towel a little bit with water to, to make it moist. Open the loft cage and collect 20 flies in a jar. Then place the attracting container with 10 uh, clean eggies cross stacked on top of, of it into the loft cage. Cover the attracting container and the eggies on top of it with a shading basket, placed, which is this uh, washing basket placed upside down, and place the water container on top of the shade basket. Then close the loft cage and add a sticker on the table under the cage labeling the date of placement of the loft cage. We have now seen the operation, and we have shown you the four steps that you now see in front of you in the checklist overview. You remember the full checklist that we introduced uh, you in, in the introduction module, and how to use this checklist. These items taken from the checklist are the points that are related to the operation that you just saw in the video. So we started by connecting a lo new loft cage to a dark cage by weighing a clean loft cage, hanging it up, and connecting it to the dark cage. After 30 minutes, the loft cage was weighed again, and it was then reconnected again to another dark cage. Then we weighed the new loft cage for the last time, after disconnecting it from the last dark cage, and we set up the loft cage by adding the attractant, the egg media, the cover for shade, and the water container. And we took a sample of 20 flies for analysis. For the fly stage, we are collecting data on the amount of flies that are captured in the loft cage, as well as the amount of flies that are removed from the dark cages. To ensure that we know both the survival rate of the flies from the preview piece, or the so-called emergence rate, and that we know about the number of flies that are in the loft cage so that we can later calculate the number of eggs produced per fly. In this step, we first fill in the weight of an empty cage and we then fill in the weight of the loft cage after it has received flies from each dark cage. So on the middle row, you see the date of the dark cage and under there you see the weight of the loft cage after it has been filled with flies from that dark cage. In the last column, on the right side, you'll see the mass of 20 flies. This is the data that we take by removing 20 flies from the loft cage, paralyzing them and noting down their weight. We can use this information to know the actual amount of flies available in the loft cage by dividing the total weight of the, of the loft cage on the, last time of, uh, on the last setup by the total amount of 20 flies and, and, the, and multiplying this amount by 20. So we have almost come to the end of this module. Time for a little refreshing. So here we have two questions for you. What are the two main activities of flies in the loft cage? The two main activities are mating and egg laying. Why can we remove the loft cage after only four days? This is because the flies have mated and laid eggs within these four days and they will die after five to seven days. We have come to the end of this module on the fly stage. We saw that in the BSF life cycle, the fly stage comes between the pre stage and the egg stage. We saw that flies are harvested from a dark cage into a loft cage, and that this loft cage is then placed outside where abundant natural light can allow for uh, mating and oviposition. We also learned that data collection on the transformation rate of the preview P into the flies is being collected to support the performance indicator point. Thank you for watching this module, part of the e-learning video series on BSF BioWaste Processing. More information can be found in the BSF step-by-step -step guide, which you can download through the QR code here. 
Both of these materials were part of the Forward Project by EWAC, in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Works in Indonesia and funded by SECO, the Swiss State Secretariat for Economic Affairs.